Greetings, Executor. Though we all grieve for the loss of mighty Tassadar, we must find the resolve to carry on. He sacrificed himself to destroy the Overmind, but many Zergs still rage across our ruined homeworld. Without the Conclave to lead us, or the protection of our great fleets, it seems we must fend for ourselves. Eldaris is correct, Executor. As we have both seen, the Zerg will not halt their rampage until every last one of us is dead. I suggest that we retreat to our last functional warp gate, and travel to where the Zerg cannot follow us. With all due respect, Zeratul, the Protoss do not run from their enemies. Ayr is our homeworld. It is here that we shall make our stand. Just as your conclave did. They are dead now, Eldaris. Dead because they allowed their pride to blind their reason. Only if we learn from their mistakes can we live to avenge them. Now, Executor, I know of a place where we can find solace. It is Shakuras, the secret homeworld of my people, the Dark Templar. Your people? We would be seen as tyrants to them. Why would they shelter us? Have I not pledged myself to your cause? Not all beings are as unforgiving as your lamented conclave, Eldaris. You are right, of course. Executor, Zeratul shall find us passage to the warp gate. After the gate has been secured, Phoenix and the new Praetor Artanis shall lead our surviving brethren to Shakuras. Executor, I am Artanis. Though I have only recently been appointed Praetor, you can trust that I will uphold the honor and traditions of the Templar. We shall see. Hey boys, mind if we tag along? I figure you're heading anywhere has got to be better than staying here with the Zerg. Commander Reno, as ever, your assistance is appreciated. We would be honored if you joined us. Executor, I have located the warp gate. We must hurry and evacuate the Kali survivors before the Zerg return. It will be done. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> worry about getting your people through the gate, Executor. Phoenix and I will hang back and protect our planet until everyone is free. Entaro Tassadar, Executor. The survivors from Ire have made it safely through the gate. Yet, amidst the chaos of our retreat, we lost contact with Phoenix and Raynor. I fear that they may have been overrun by the Zerg. Fear not, Artanis. Phoenix is as stalwart a warrior as I have ever known, and the Terran Raynor has proven himself to be highly resourceful in the past. I for one believe that they made it here safely. But while we wait for word from them, we must reconnoiter the surrounding area and find a suitable location for a more permanent settlement. Once we're situated, we can begin to search for the Dark Templar. Welcome to the Corridor, Seratul. Glad I am to see that you've returned home after these many decades. But the strange guests that have followed you here seem ill-tempered. Well met, my brother. Indeed, these creatures known as the Zerg have no regard for the sanctity of life. Once we have secured this area, I shall tell you everything I know about them in Council. I'm sure the Matriarch will be eager to hear your tale as well. Executor, we have received a transmission from Raynor and Phoenix. They are still alive and are fighting to retake the warp gate on Ire. We must secure pylons. the gate on this side without delay. Executor, my crew and I will remain here on Ire and shut the gate down on this side. It's the only way to make sure that the Zerg won't send more reinforcements to Shakuras. You will be hopelessly outnumbered, and once the gate is shut down, there will be no one to save you should you be overrun. And, well, I'm a man of action. What can I say? I saw many prayers as well, Executor. My duty is to 
fierce sire after all. Farewell then, brave warriors. We will send through all the troops we can spare. Thanks. You kids just remember to play nice from now on, okay? Wish us luck. I am Rashagal, matriarch of the Dark Templar, and I welcome you and your companions to our world. Zeratul has informed me of the fall of Ayr, and I am deeply grieved. I am one of the few Dark Templar old enough to remember our ancestral home with clarity. Yet no matter how tragic the circumstances, it is clear that fortune has reunited our people. We Dark Templar will never forget our banishment from Ayr, nor the Conclave's sins against us. But you and your companions are no longer of the Conclave. The example set by your fallen hero, Tassadar, has shown you that when the light and dark sides of our energies are united, our power is undeniable. But Matriarch, the Zerg who have followed us here are unlike any enemy the Protoss have ever known. You speak the truth, Judicator. And yet, there lies a dormant power here that can help us to scour the Zerg from Shakuras forever. Long ago, we Dark Templar were a nomadic people. But, when we found a remarkable monument upon this world, we decided to remain here to study it. We discovered that the enormous structure is actually an ancient Zelnaga temple, dedicated to the race that sired us all. The temple is situated above a nexus of powerful cosmic energies. If we were to access those energies... Then we should strike now, while the Zerg still muster their forces. Alas, we cannot. In order to properly channel the energies of the temple, we will need the twin crystals, Urash and Talus, that legends say were separated many ages ago. The Urash is laced with pure Templar energies, while the Talus is comprised of dark Templar energy. Only by using these two crystals in unison can we hope to channel the potent energies of the temple. Then it is clear that we must retrieve these crystals, wherever they may be. Agreed. But first, we must deal with the Zerg and their two Cerebrates who have already taken up station around the temple itself. To arms, my children. Scour the temple grounds of this foul infestation. Remember, young Templar. Cerebrates can be killed only by Dark Templar weapons and energies. My brethren will make short work of any Cerebrate. Carrigan, oh boy. Well done, mighty Protoss. I'm glad to see that you all are as violent as ever. Carrigan. What mockery is this? Relax, warriors. Despite what you may think, I haven't come here to fight you. This is laughable. Do you truly expect us to believe that your intentions here are honorable? That these Zerg here are not under your sway? Look, the Cerebrates you've killed were my enemies as well. If you let me explain, I'm sure you'll understand that- You are the enemy of all who live, Kerrigan. What makes you think we would have anything to do with you? Because, Zeratul, I bring news of an event that threatens us all. If you'd be so good as to escort me back to your citadel, I'll tell you everything I know. Very well, Kerrigan. We shall hear what you have to say. But be warned, we will not suffer your treachery here. Now then, Kerrigan. Perhaps you had best explain yourself. What is this news you've come to give? There is a new Overmind growing on Char. What? Impossible. Why should we believe anything you have to say? Because, Zeratul, I'm no longer the mindless murderess whom you fought on Char. The Overmind is dead. Whatever warped control it once had over me is gone. I know that this is a lot to take in all at once, but you've got to believe me. There's more at she stake here. She lies. Than... She is infested to the core. 
I, for one, will not listen to any of this. Silence, Judicator. Continue, Carrion. Apparently, many of the renegade cerebrates commanded by Dagoth have merged into a new Overmind. Fortunately, the creature is still in its infant stages. It can't control the swarm yet. But Dagoth and the others still have control over most of the broods. The two cerebrates you killed here were part of Dagoth's forces. Look, I don't need to tell you all what might happen if that thing reaches maturity. I can guarantee you that should it awaken, it'll take full control of me, just like it did before. I don't want that to happen, and I'm pretty sure you don't want it to happen either. Even if what you say is true, our priority is to save this world, not assault the new Overmind. We must find the crystals Urash and Kalis before we are all vanquished. Then I'll help you with your search. If you can defeat the renegade Zerg gathered here, it'll weaken the efforts of Dagoth and his ilk. My children, you must put aside your fears and misgivings to accomplish what must be done. For the time being, Kerrigan will assist you in your endeavors. Though she has been your enemy, it is enough that we share the same agenda now. Allow her time enough to prove herself to you, and you may find her to be a valued ally. For now, you must focus on the task at hand. Search for the Urosh on the planet Braxis and let nothing stop you from recovering it. We will do what you ask, Matriarch. But you cannot expect us to forgive Kerrigan's crimes against our race. Executor, prepare our forces. We shall debark for the planet Braxis before the next moonrise. Crystal's here, boys. Send in a probe to gather it up, and our work here is done. You have done well, Kerrigan. There's more to you than it seems. Perhaps I have misjudged you. Given our history, I can't say I blame you. Let's just get the job done. Executor, our sensors have just identified a large group of Terran vessels. However, their configuration profile is unlike any Terran group yet encountered. We are receiving a transmission from the fleet's command ship, identifying itself as the Alexander. Protoss Commander, I am Admiral Alexei Stukov of the United Earth Directorate. We are here to take control of the Terran Dominion and all of its outlying colonies. You are in direct violation of Terran space and have openly attacked Terran troops. Lower your shields and power down your weapon systems. The UED will be taking custody of your ships and whatever spoils you have garnered from this planet. United Earth Directorate. Raynar spoke of the distant Terran homeworld called Earth. These humans have come a long way to make war on us. Have faith, Zeratul. You almost sound as if you fear these humans. What are they to such as we? Was it not we who defeated the dreaded Overmind? Yes, Artemis, we did vanquish the Overmind. But we did so with the help of humans. Do not be so quick to underestimate them. Of course. Executor, I shall test the metal of these humans by scouting ahead of your ships and finding a way through this blockade. In Toro Tassadar! Executor, the Urash is secured, and the UED has given up the chase. We are currently holding perimeter orbit over the planet Char. Zeratul, have you locked onto the location of the Callus? Yes. I remember sensing his power on the last time I was on this world. However, our sensors indicate a massive, fluctuating energy signature at its location. I am, however, unable to identify the signature's source. That should be obvious, gentlemen. The source is the Overmind itself. When the Cerebrates merged together, they must have locked onto the Callus energies and nested near it. It's probable that there'll be a number of broods protecting that area. It's risky, but if we can strike hard and fast, we might be able to fight our way through their defenses and escape with the crystal. 
Comrades, I may have an alternative. Seeing as how the Overmind is still in its infant stages, I wonder if we might be able to disrupt its control over those broods. If we can do enough superficial damage to the creature, it might pacify the Zerg nearest to it, allowing us some time to retrieve the callus. A bold plan, young Artanis. Your courage rivals that of mighty Tazadar himself. You give me too much credit, noble Zeratul. I am not worthy enough to even speak his name. Touching. Look, boys, either of these plans will work, but let's not waste any time. I'll be able to exert limited control over a few of the Zerg here and provide you with some backup. But the longer we stay, the more we risk losing both the crystals again. Agreed. Executor, deploy your forces. May Adun be with you. Executor, the callus is ours. Let us depart this wretched world and return to Shakuras. Provided there is still a Shakuras to return to. Congratulations, Executor. Your success has brought us the promise of hope against the Zerg. However, we face a new threat within our own ranks. In your absence, Judicator Alderis and an entire legion of Kali survivors from Ayr have begun an open revolt against us. By the gods, this is ill news indeed. Why would Alderis betray us so? He and his ilk believe that it was wrong to have abandoned Ayr and consorted with our people. Their prejudices have driven them to perpetuate the Conclave's sins against us. Even now, Alderis and his loyalist Templar forces are preparing to attack our citadel. I can scarcely believe this. As if the Zerg were not enough. Matriarch, are you certain of this? All too certain, young Templar. Executor, as Matriarch of the Dark Templar and custodian of this world, I hereby order you to terminate Judicator Alderis and quell this untimely uprising without delay. There will be no dissent among us while the Zerg are poised to strike. There's something amiss here. The Matriarch has always been a wise and gentle soul. Though there is some merit in her decision, this is very unlike her. That may well be. But right now, we have a friend to kill. May Adun forgive us. Be advised, Executor. Our forces are divided. Alderis has taken control of our Templar warriors and arbiters. It is possible that he may even send Archons against us. Fear not, comrades, for we have Archons of our own. Should the dire need arise, all Dark Templar may merge to become Dark Archons. Though we sacrifice our warriors in doing so, only the might of the Dark Archons can match the forces of Aldaris. Yet again, Executor. You destroy only a simulacrum of myself. You believe me to be a traitor, but it is you and the Matriarch who will usher our race to oblivion. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. It is finished, Judicator. Surrender your remaining forces and join us in eradicating the Zerg. I would sooner die, Dark One, than tarnish the memory of Ayr by joining with you. Your fate was sealed the moment your matriarch allied herself with the Queen of Blades. Those of us still loyal to Ayr will never be slaves to Kerrigan and her broods. Alderis, be reasonable. Kerrigan has changed. She no longer seeks to enslave anyone. Do not force us to destroy you. You can no longer afford to be so naive, Artanis. 
While you were securing the crystals, I discovered that your matriarch has been harboring a dark secret. She has been manipulated by this. I have no time for this. What have you done? I just cleaned up your mess, Frotas. Don't be so squeamish. Wretched creature. This was a Rotas matter. You had no right to interfere. Be gone from this world. You are no longer welcome among us. Fine. I've done what I came here to do. I've ensured the destruction of the renegade servants, and I used you to do it. Have fun, mighty Protoss. We'll be seeing each other again. This entire chain of events has been masterminded by Kerrigan, and we played right into her hands. Yes, we did, Artanis. Yet our course is set, nonetheless. Using the Temple's energies against the Renegade Zerg may accomplish Kerrigan's aims, but it is still our only chance of survival. And survive we will, my warriors. For too long have we labored in futile defense, as our enemies push us further and further away from victory. The time has come to let loose the full fury of our powers. Never again shall Shakuris be despoiled by the foul touch of alien species. These Zerg shall be the first to fall before us. Matriarch, I have served you for many millennia. I have always valued your wisdom and strength. Yet, lately, in your mind, I have sensed something that clouds your true spirit. Though Kerrigan has gone, I wonder if her treachery still remains. Be at ease, Zeratul. I am still the same Rashagal you have always known. These recent events have weighed heavily upon me, and I am wearied. But fear not. My warrior spirit will shine before you and light your path to victory. Indeed. The time for action is upon us. The crystals must be taken to the temple while the Zerg still muster their forces. I shall carry the Urash myself while Zeratul handles the callus. Executor, you shall provide escort for Artanis and Zeratul as they make their way to the temple. God's willing, we will channel the energies of the Zelnaga and scour this world clean of the Zerg. Go now, my children, and know that the survival of our entire race depends upon your actions. When you bring the crystals to the temple, the Zerg will surely send all their legions to destroy you. You must be prepared to protect the temple itself from the swarm. Rush is secured. The towers be secured. Executor, Zeratul and I will begin to channel the temple's energies. You must prevent the Zerg from destroying the temple while we work. Adun be with you, Executor. Executor, the channeling is complete. Withdraw our forces into the temple. And we are under attack.
adjutant online. Good morning, Captain. Our long voyage from Earth is over, and we are holding a stationary position near the borders of Dominion space. I trust that the effects from your long, cold sleep have worn off by now. If not, the med officer can provide you with additional cryostim supplements. Admiral Dugal has issued a proclamation to the entire fleet via Transmat. I'll patch it through to you now. Attention, defenders of the United Earth Directorate. This is Admiral de Gaulle. You were all briefed before we left Earth, so you know that we have come here to conquer this sector in the name of humanity. Should any of you have second thoughts about performing your assigned duties, be reminded that if we fail in our mission here, not one of us will be going home. We stand or fall together in this forsaken wasteland. Serve the Directorate. Serve humanity. All other priorities are secondary to victory. De Gaulle out. Transmat completed. Receiving incoming transmission. Good morning, Captain. I am Vice Admiral Stukov, tactical advisor to Admiral Dugan. I see you've already reviewed his proclamation. I'm sure it doesn't cover anything you weren't already familiar with. Once you get to know the Admiral, I'm sure you'll find that he's actually quite personable. At any rate, Captain, I do have orders for you. As we are about to begin our invasion of the Dominion, we will need access to their primary data net and weapons diagnostics. To this end, you are to assault the outlying planet of Braxas and take control of its capital city of Boralus. You are to deploy your forces within two standard hours. The Admiral expects perfect results, Captain. Stukov out. Captain, okay. I am Lieutenant Samir Duran of the Confederate Resistance Forces. I've been monitoring your attack against the Dominion, and I'd like to offer you my services and skills in return for amnesty. Intriguing. Lieutenant, you have absolutely no idea as to who we are or what we have come here to do. Why do you wish to sign with us? Because my men and I have sworn to fight against the Dominion and its Emperor. Seeing as how your forces have been laying into this Dominion base, I figured we were on the same side. I see. How exactly do you propose to be of service to us, Lieutenant? Well, I possess intimate knowledge of the surrounding area. I can show you an alternate route that leads to the rear of the main Dominion base. Very well, Lieutenant. Consider yourself and your men the first colonial conscripts of the United Earth Directorate. Captain, see that the Lieutenant is given our full cooperation. We shall see if he's worth the effort. Mission successful, Admiral. Excellent, Lieutenant. This planet's primary defenses are now crippled. Our tag teams can now begin to decode the Dominion security data link. Receiving incoming transmission. Captain, Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me of your flawless sortie upon Braxis. I must commend you for beginning our campaign with such a decisive victory. Our attack teams have decrypted the Dominion's data link and have gained access to Ming's most guarded files. However, our work is not yet complete. We have ascertained the location of the Dilarian shipyards. These shipyards, serving as a fueling and repair station for the Dominion, house a number of functional battle cruisers in Drydock. To assure that our domination of this sector remains uncontested, you are to assault the shipyards and liberate as many of these capital ships as possible. Gentlemen, I recommend that you launch this attack using the utmost caution. Dominion Command can typically reinforce its outlying bases within 16 standard hours. You should expect some sort of reprisal from Emperor Mengsk shortly. Ah, the turncoat. 
I suggest that you pay keen attention to rank when you address the captain and myself, Lieutenant Duran. Is that understood? Of course, Admiral. <laughs> You're beginning to show your age, Gerard. Give the boy some credit. He just tipped us off to a preeminent attack. However useful he may prove to be, Alexei, he will always be a traitor in my eyes. And you know that I cannot abide a traitor. Only too well, Gerard. Captain, when you are ready, you may commence with the operation. Once you have commandeered the enemy's battle cruisers, be prepared to repel the Dominion reinforcements when they arrive. Once your forces have landed, Captain, you'll need to escort our pilots to the battle cruisers themselves. They will be able to commandeer the ships and turn them over to our control. Battle cruiser operational. Captain, we are tracking a large fleet of Dominion ships in your vicinity. Ah, this must be the reinforcements that Lieutenant Duran warned us about. Captain, prepare our newly acquired fleet to battle the intruders. Captain, we are being hailed by the Dominion flagship, NORAD-3. Well, now, I don't know which militia y'all are from, but I advise you to back down, now. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Dominion Armada, and in the name of Emperor Max, I order you to surrender your forces immediately and unconditionally. Ah, General. I expected your forces to arrive sooner. You should know that we represent not one of your ragtag peasant militias, but the combined might of the United Earth Directorate. Earth Directorate? You mean to tell me you've come all the way out here from Earth? That is correct, General. We're here to take control over this sector and its occupants for the betterment of mankind. Over my dead body. I don't care where you're from, son. No one pushes around the Terran Dominion on my watch. All units, fire at will. Captain, the Dominion shipyards have been destroyed, and it seems that General Duke has withdrawn his forces from this quadrant. We have impressed most of the remaining Dilerian defense forces into the fleet and stand ready to move to the next phase of our invasion. We've just received word from our research team that they've uncovered some kind of hidden weapons relay upon the planet Tarsonas. They report that it's called a Psy Disruptor and that its purpose is somehow connected with the Zerg. Admiral, during the Zerg invasion of these colonies, the Confederacy had manufactured a number of portable machines called Psy Emitters, which had the uncanny ability to lure Zerg to their signals. It was rumored that they had created a specialized emitter that could disrupt the Zerg's communications, but Emperor Mengsk was never able to find it. It appears that this Psy Disruptor is the machine he was looking for. I must humbly suggest to you, Admiral, that the Disruptor be destroyed as quickly as possible. If it should fall into the hands of the Dominion, we could face some very serious problems. Uh, a prudent call, Lieutenant. I am inclined to agree. But Admiral, this device could ensure our victory over the Zerg. It is foolhardy to discard such an advantage. Surely, Vice Admiral, you don't doubt the tenacity of your own fleet. Your Directorate forces will devastate the Zerg without the need for such a device. Listen here, Lieutenant. I've had just about enough of your- This conversation is over, Alexei. Given the true nature of our mission to enslave the Overmind, we could hardly stand to have Manx control a device of this magnitude. This side disruptor must be destroyed in order to safeguard our mission. Anson, set your course for Tarsonis. Go ahead, HQ. Lieutenant Duran. Since you have shown such concern for this device's inherent danger, I charge you with finding the disruption and securing it. We will commence with its destruction once we've cleared the area. Right away, Captain. 
We've located the side disruptor. Shall we plant the explosives on it? Lieutenant Duran, we're here to relieve you. We've come with orders from Admiral Stukov himself to facilitate the disruptor's disassembly. Very well. Take it away. Captain, I'll be returning to the command ship presently. Captain, once again, your leadership has set a fine example to the rest of my officers. Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me that the Psy Disruptor has been accounted for, so we can now proceed with the next phase of our operation. The time has come to begin our primary invasion of the Dominion Throne world of Korhal. Alexei, fill the Captain in on the current situation. As you may know from your research, Captain, Coral was a hotbed of anti-Confederate sentiment for years. The Confederacy hoped to contain Coral's civil unrest by decimating it and its population with a massive nuclear barrage. Though the radiation levels on the planet are at an all-time low, its surface is now nothing more than a smoldering desert. The catch, Admiral, is that because this world has already been devastated by nuclear fire, Mengsk has no compunction against using nukes on us. We have detected a large cluster of missile silos on the outskirts of Augustgrad. If those silos were destroyed, we believe that Mengsk would lose his core nuclear capabilities. We also face a different obstacle, Captain. Intelligence has informed us that Mengsk employs multiple battle cruisers for his planetary defense. It is possible to nullify these battle cruisers by taking out strategic physics labs. Without these labs, Manx will be unable to power up his ship's weapon systems. Though we know how to compensate for Manx's defenses, we don't have enough time to follow through on them both. Therefore, Captain, you must choose to either counter his nuclear capabilities or his battle cruisers. Once you've taken care of this operation, we can begin to plan our final assault against Augustgrad. Well done, Captain. We won't need to worry about nukes when we siege Mike's Pass. Captain, Admiral de Gaulle has ordered a final tactical meeting before the siege of Augustgrad commences. I'll patch you through to his war room. Ah, Captain, we've been expecting you. As you may have guessed, we are coordinating our final attack plans. You should know that even though Manx cannot reinforce his numbers, his standing forces are substantial. Manx is an accomplished tactician, so you had best be wary of any counterattacks he may attempt. I'm Captain. Remember that although we disabled Mink's nuclear capabilities, he still commands a large number of battle cruisers. We suspect that he will use these ships against us at every turn. Be on your guard, Captain. Show this Emperor what the UED thinks of his rule. I'm tracking the Dominion flagship NORAD-3 in low orbit. Emperor Minx may be attempting an escape. Receiving incoming transmission. This is Emperor Mengsk of the Terran Dominion. I wish to parley with your executive officer at once. So, the elusive Arcturus Mengsk at last. I was hoping to speak with you before we finished our business here. I am Admiral Gerard Dugot, and I must commend you, sir, for holding back our advance for as long as you have. You are indeed a worthy opponent. My thanks to you, sir. But you must know that your victory here means little to me. It might have taken me a while, but I did overthrow the Confederacy. I'll overthrow your rule as well. That seems unlikely, sir. Seeing as how you will be publicly executed along with the rest of your ranking officers. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> the man who crowns himself Emperor speaks to me of daring. You have far outlived your reputation, citizen Mengsk. Captain, prepare to take the Emperor into custody. You'll have to postpone those plans, gentlemen. So
Sir, the rebel command ship Hyperion has just entered our sensor range. It is accompanied by a small Protoss fleet. What? Who are these intruders? Jim Rayner. What the hell are you doing here? I'm pulling your ass out of the fire Arcturus, so shut up and sit tight. Make no mistake about it, we've got us a serious score to settle. But right now, a mutual acquaintance of ours wants you alive. Prepare your ships for dimensional recall. It is impossible. They're escaping right out from under us. Track them. Track them. Captain, we have tracked the fugitives Minsk and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Ire. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss harbor these men? I have no idea, Gerard, but the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg broods surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the broods seem to be passive, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the broods attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. I see. It is a risk we'll need to take. Mengsk represents a considerable threat to our agenda and must be eliminated. Captain? You will focus your attack against the Rebel Command Center in the middle of the Protoss encampment. That must be where Mengsk and Raynor are hiding. We will deploy our own Valkyrie frigates and tighten up our air defenses. Vice Admiral Stukov and Lieutenant Duran will provide cover for your forces and ensure that no external threats interfere with your mission. Your forces are under attack. Command Center is destroyed. It looks like Manx and Raynor will try to escape through the warp gate. Make ready to move in and intercept their vessel before... Wait, I just picked up multiple Zerg signals coming in from the northeast. That's Duran's position. But he seems to have moved his forces out of place. Lieutenant Duran, this is Stuka. Come in. I'm tracking a massive Zerg swarm in your quadrant. Respond, damn it! That is strange, Vice Admiral. My scanners don't show any Zerg at all. Maybe you have a technical problem with your equipment. Lieutenant, if these Zerg get through, we'll never be able to capture Minsk. I'm giving you a direct order to return to your position and reinforce my troops. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but it seems your signal's fading out. I couldn't make out that last part. I'll try to re-establish contact later. Durand! Captain, your position will be overrun by superior Zerg numbers within 15 minutes. I suggest you retreat back to the fleet immediately. Inform Admiral Dugal that I have a personal matter. Admiral, the fugitives Minsk and Raynor escaped through the warp gate due to the intervention of the Zerg. But shortly before our forces were overrun, Vice Admiral Stukov took control of a large contingent of troops and came here to the planet Braxis. Why would he abandon the battle on Ayr? Why has he come back to Braxis? I mean no offense, Admiral. But perhaps Stukov's loyalties are not as strong as you once believed. Because you are young and foolish, Lieutenant, I will pardon that insult. Alexei and I have been friends since long before you were born. However, he must be found. If Stukov is here, he will account for his actions. Admiral? Our sensors have detected a fully functional Psi Disruptor on the planet's surface directly below our position. It would appear that the Vice Admiral did not destroy the Psi Disruptor on Tarsonis as was ordered. What? Impossible! I warned you, Admiral. Stukov has betrayed you! He's reconstructed the Psi Disruptor in order to sabotage your mission in this sector! I can't believe it. Yet, the evidence is incontrovertible. 
Alexei, what have you done? Perhaps you've been right all along, Lieutenant. On my authority, enter the side disruptor and deal with the Vice Admiral appropriately. Of course, Admiral. Vice Admiral Stukov, I am here under orders to terminate your command. Lieutenant Duran, I'm not surprised. We both know exactly what it is that you're here to terminate. Get on with it. Say goodnight, Stukov. To hell with you. <sighs> Lieutenant Duran, report your situation immediately. no longer registers on my sensors, Admiral. He appears to have vanished. No. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Sir, the disruptor's power core has just been set to overload. In order to prevent meltdown, you will need to reach the manual override terminal and shut the reactor core down. It must have been Joran. You men serve the Vice Admiral loyally. I ask that you continue to serve his memory by keeping this disruptor in one piece. Now get going and find that override terminal. Reactor core shutdown sequence initiated. Good work, Captain. I want the side disruptor kept on full power around the clock. I'll leave a garrison here to protect it as well. Prepare the fleet to move out. We are going to the planet Char to claim that cursed overmind. And may heaven help your end for what he has done this day. Captain, with the Psy Disruptor's signal hampering the Zerg's communications to one another, the swarms over Char have scattered in disarray, allowing the fleet to penetrate to the planet's surface. However, there is still a considerable number of defenders nestled around the fledgling Overmind. Alexei was right. The Disruptor is the key to victory here. If I had destroyed the machine as Duran suggested, we would never have made it this far. Nevertheless, the time is upon us, Captain to do what we came here for. We will claim the Overmind in the name of humanity. Be advised, Captain. Our sensors have identified three cerebrates who constitute the core of the Overmind's defenses. Each cerebrate's distinct capabilities are still unknown, so proceed with extreme caution. Launch your forces, and let not a Zerg survive. Once you have reached the Overmind and crushed its defenders, you are to send in specially trained medics who will pacify the creature with potent neurostim drugs. Only then will our victory be assured. And Captain, remember that Duran is still out there somewhere. I'd venture a guess that his treachery has only just begun. Be careful and good luck. I am sure that this will be our finest hour. 
medics are in place and are administering the neurostim treatments to the Overmind. Excuse me, Admiral, but I'd like to introduce someone to you. You ran, you son of a bitch. What's the meaning of this? Admiral de Gaulle, I've heard a lot about you. Ooh, what the hell are you? I am Kerrigan. The Zerg you've killed here and the Overmind which you've come to collect are mine. As is our mutual friend, Lieutenant Duran. You see, Admiral, there are a number of groups in this sector who feel that your involvement here causes certain complications. My associates and I intend to make sure that your reign is short-lived. You may find that difficult, you abomination, seeing as how I possess the means to disrupt your control of the Zerg. Ah, you're referring to your vaunted Psy Disruptor. It won't last you forever, Admiral. Sooner or later, I'll destroy it. Then I'll show you what the Zerg are really capable of. Oh, and by the way, Admiral, your friend Stukov was twice the man you are. <laughs> I'm glad you saved me the trouble of having to kill him. of this terrifying race once brought fear to all who heard it. But now we can all rest easy as our own forces now occupy their very homeworld of Char. Months have passed since our initial confrontation with the Zerg, and now Directorate forces have taken control of the planet Char, long since rumored to cradle the malevolent overmind of the Zerg. The overmind itself, an enormous living brain-like entity, dictates control of all the myriad Zerg forces, and it was believed to be planning an invasion of the Earth itself. Once on the offensive, our highly trained directorate forces were more than a match for the beast-like Zerg. Even their fiercest warrior breed could not defeat the greatest military technology in the galaxy. The Zerg forces on Char were completely decimated and their losses were tallied in the millions. But all wars have casualties, and while Directorate losses were minimal, the fleet's Vice Admiral Stukov gave his life during the final valiant assault on Char. Memorial services were held aboard the Directorate flagship Alexander. Vice Admiral Stukov truly knew the meaning of sacrifice. Yet his sacrifice was not in vain. The Overmind itself was the prize of the battle. Even now, Directorate psychics and powerful drugs are keeping the creature pacified. The Overmind will undergo extensive research to ensure the continued safety of the United Earth Directorate and of all mankind. Greetings, Cerebrit. By now you've realized that I've severed your connection with the Overmind and your renegade brethren. Understand, it's nothing personal. I just can't risk you falling under their influence. You're mine now. Serve me unquestioningly, and I'll let you live. My queen, pardon me for interrupting, but the visitors you have been expecting have arrived. Finally. They certainly took their time. 
Yeah, well, none of us were in any real hurry to get here, Sarah. Still suspicious of my motives, Jimmy? Always. <laughs> when I contacted you both on IR, I told you about the new Overmind and about the UED that seeks to control it. Well, the UED has done it. They've tamed the Overmind and now control most of the Zerg broods in this sector. That's why I've asked for your help. You want us to help you defeat the UED so that you alone will rule the Zerg. Wrong, Phoenix. I want to defeat them because if we don't, they'll clamp down on this sector and enslave us all. You know I'm right, Jim. You've studied the history of Earth. You know what the UED's agenda is. Taking control of the Zerg is only the beginning for them. Maybe. I don't know. My queen, again I beg your pardon for this interruption, but we have a very serious problem. Perfect timing. Gentlemen, we'll need to finish this conversation later. Continue, Duran. The Psy Disruptor signal has reached us here on Tarsonis and shattered the unity of your broods. Within the past few hours, your minions have turned on each other and left their hive clusters to run out of control. This is just what I need. Cerebrate, take the few zergs still under my control and do what you can to stem any further damage to the hive clusters. I can't afford to have them destroyed by my own minions. The Psy Disruptor is causing me some very serious problems. Although I've regained control of my forces here, it's taking more and more concentration just to keep them in line. Oh, my heart's breaking for you, Kerrigan. Now exactly why was it that you asked Phoenix and I to bring Minx to you? Are you still suspicious that I'll kill him for abandoning me to the Zerg? I've gotten over it, Jim. We can't afford to let petty hatreds jeopardize our plans for the UED. That's reassuring. Arcturus, I presume you found your cold sleep chamber accommodating? What is the meaning of this, Kerrigan? Straight to the point, huh? I was hoping to chat. It's been a while. Not long enough. Why have I been brought here? I need your psi emitters, Arcturus. Why? Remember the Confederate Psy Disruptor that you could never find? Well, the UED found it, and it's preventing me from controlling my minions. With the help of your psi emitters, I can gather up enough Zerg to destroy the Disruptor and confront the UED. And what are you offering me in return? Ha! Ever the politician. All right, Emperor. If you help me destroy the Disruptor, I'll help you retake Korhal from the UED. Hmm, a tempting offer. What assurances do I have of you fulfilling your end of the bargain? The only thing I can assure you of, Arcturus, is that without my help, you'll be the Emperor of your own little 8x8 cell for the rest of your life. <sighs> I see that you're still a persuasive speaker. All right, Kerrigan. I'll lend you some emitters, but this had better be worth it. Boys and girls, listen up. Our objective is to locate and disable the Psy Disruptor's primary power generator. Once we've done that, we'll turn over the mission to Manx and Kerrigan. Let's move out. I'm gone. Psy emitter will be carried by one of my SCVs. With the disruptor's power cut, the emitter should be able to get the attention of any renegade Zerg near it. The SCV will then be able to lure the Zerg back to your base. Once the Zerg arrive there, you'll be able to assert direct control over them. Now that the Psy Disruptor has been destroyed, and Kerrigan has regained control of her minions, I fear that she will forget our pact and turn on us. I know what you mean, Phoenix. I'd love to believe that she's on the level, but there's a part of me that just knows better. 
However, I do believe that she's serious about taking out the UED. The only real question left is what happens to us when she wins. If you ask me, she's completely untrustworthy. But so long as she'll help me retake Core Hall, I'll work with her. Shut up, Arcturus. If I wanted your damn opinion, I would have beaten it out of you. And in case you forgot, you're the reason she became what she is in the first place. You boys should really learn to play nice with each other. Kerrigan, are your forces ready to assault Core Hall as we planned? Nearly. I still need a substantial cache of resources in order to build up my primary hive clusters. I'm wondering if you gentlemen wouldn't mind going on a fuel raid for me. It sounds like you've already got a plan. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that we should pay the Kalmorian Combine a little visit. Moria is one of the largest resource nodes in the sector. If you can bypass their defenses and steal enough resources from them, we'll be able to afford a full-scale assault on Korhal. It's risky, but I think we can handle it. Phoenix, are you into this? If it betters our chances, I will lead the assault myself. Great. Let's get moving. Do you think they suspect anything? My Gwyn? Of course. They aren't stupid, Duran. They're siding with the evil they know over the evil they don't. They simply don't yet realize what it will cost them. Seraphim, I want you to infest as many Terran command centers as possible. Once they're infested, we'll be able to use them in our coming assault on Core Hall. <laughs> Detected. My heart longs for the epic. Our forces are under attack. Alongside my Protoss brethren again. Ah, uh, time will tell all things. Kerrigan, we have reached our resource quota. They will be returning to Tarsonis. You have all performed superbly. Especially you, Phoenix. My hive clusters are brimming with energy, and my broods are stronger than ever. Then let's waste no time. Every moment we sit here means that the UED's defenses will be that much stronger, and I want nothing to stand between us and the retaking of my planet. You're right, Arcturus. The time to strike the UED is now. But remember that we're up against one of the most heavily defended planets in the sector. Laying siege to Korhal won't be easy. Not only does the UED control a substantial standing army, but may have Zerg reinforcements as well. Raynor, you and Phoenix will strike at the more outlying fortification, while my forces are busy assaulting the main UED base at Augustgrad. We've discussed this plan a hundred times. Commence the damn attack! Ha! <laughs> Very well, Arcturus. Before the next sunrise, Korra will be yours once again. Excellent work, my cerebrate. The UED's defenses are broken. Arcturus, you may take possession of this world with my blessings. Don't be snide, Kerrigan. This was part of the deal, remember? I've earned this. I am Emperor of the Dominion again. I'll be sending General Duke to establish my base of operations in Augustgrad. I hope you make the most of your reign. Cerebrit, Duran, the time has come to separate the chaff from the wheat. Now that the UED's power base is broken on this world, only their forces on Char pose any significant threat to me. It's time to move to the second phase of my plan. And what of your allies here in Korhal, my queen? What would you have done with them? They are of no further use to me. Though they have proven themselves useful, it might be dangerous to allow them to live. Without the services of General Duke, Minsk will be easy to deal with. But Raynor and Phoenix are uncannily resourceful. <sighs> they must all be eradicated. Cerebrit, I want both General Duke's and Phoenix's bases destroyed. Leave no one alive. My queen, if I may suggest a strategy. Both the Protoss and Terran forces are resting after our previous victory. If we attack immediately, while most of them are asleep and unaware, we can whittle down their defenses with relative ease. Clever. How long after our initial attack can we expect them to regroup and retaliate? I'd say in six minutes. 
That only gives us enough time to launch a surprise attack against one base, but it is a sound plan. Cerebrate, feel free to launch your initial attack against either base. Failure is not an option. Slaughter them all in my name. What's up? How y'all doing? Forces are under attack. Down, but it's time to start giving some back. Continue your attack, Cerebrant. Their defenses won't last long against us. Bitch. We had a deal. Oh, come on, Arcturus. Did you really think I'd allow you to come into power again? You practically fed me to the Zerg on Tarsonis. You're directly responsible for the hell I've been through. Did you honestly think I'd let you get away with that? But you said revenge was secondary to defeating the UED. I lied. I liberated this planet because it was the UED's primary staging point, not because I was under any obligation to you. I used you to destroy the Psy Disruptor. And now that I've got my broods back, you're no longer necessary for my plans. I think I'll leave you here, Arcturus, among the ashes of your precious dominion. I want you to live to see me rise to power, and I want you to always remember, in your most private moments, that it was you who turned me loose in the first place. Oh, you set a betrayal, most foul, Kerrigan. We were fools to have gone along with this charade. You're right, Phoenix. I used you to get the job done. And you played along just like I knew you would. You Protoss are also headstrong and predictable. You are your own worst enemies. That's ironic. I can remember Tassadar teaching you a very similar lesson on Char. I took that lesson to heart, Praetor. Now, are you ready to die a second time? The Kala awaits me, Kerrigan. And although I am prepared to face my destiny, you'll not find me easy prey. Then that shall be your epitaph. Phoenix! No. What are you worried about, Jim? He died the way all Protoss hoped to. In combat. He died because you betrayed him. How many more noble souls do you need to consume before you're satisfied? How many more people need to die before you realize what you've become? You don't even know what you're talking about, Jim. Don't I? I'll see you dead for this, Kerrigan. For Phoenix, and all the others who got caught between you and your mad quest for power. Tough talk, Jimmy. But I don't think you have what it takes to be a killer. It may not be tomorrow, darling. It may not even happen with an army at my back. But rest assured, I'm the man who's gonna kill you someday. I'll be seeing you. It is done, Cerebrate. They've all been destroyed. Let us return to Tarsonis to rest. For the first time since my transfiguration, I am wearied of the slaughter. My queen, our scouts have just discovered a massive wave of Zerg in high orbit. Hundreds of Zerg have landed upon Tarsonis and are even now approaching our location. A number of our outposts are already under attack by the Renegade Swarm. So the UED is testing out their control of their pet Overmind. I had hoped to lay low after we raised Korhal, but it seems the UED is intent on forcing my hand. Shall I rally your forces, my queen? Yes. We've got to defend our remaining outposts and make sure that the Renegades can't gain a foothold in our immediate vicinity. Once we've secured our perimeter, We'll begin to take the fight to their hive clusters. Cerebrate, it's time we return to Shakuras. I have some unfinished business with the Dark Templar matriarch, Rashagal. I need to steal her from her tribe before we can finally assault the Overmind on Char. However, her defenders will not simply allow us to take her away. 
The pylon clusters are generating some sort of electromagnetic field that is preventing our flyers from maneuvering. We won't have any air support at all. Then we'll need some new strategy. Perhaps it would be best if we stage some kind of diversion, my queen, and claim the matriarch during the confusion. What did you have in mind, Duran? The Protoss outpost of Telematros is built upon a large mesa and is essentially impregnable to ground attacks. However, Telematros is fueled and supported by a number of adjacent pylon clusters. I believe that if we can cause a surge within those pylon clusters, we can cause Telematros power grids to overload. The resulting explosion will be the perfect cover for retrieving the Matriarch. Queen, simple, devious. I like it. Make it happen, Duran. Cerebrit, you'll provide cover for Duran as he infiltrates the pylon clusters. Let nothing stand in our way. This cluster is ready to overload. My queen, the last charge is set. Telematros will explode on your command. Very well. Cerebrit, send my minions down to the planet and have them retrieve the matriarch. Duran, ignite the charges. Ignition commencing. The time is finally upon us, my minions, to destroy the wretched Overmind and the last of its renegade cerebrates. We can count on the UED providing us with heavy resistance, but not even they can stand in our way. Now that the Matriarch Rashagal is in my custody, I possess the means to attack the Overmind with impunity. But my queen, I thought only the Dark Templar's energies could harm the Overmind and its cerebrates. Even with the numerous broods at your command, any attack we launch against the Renegades will be in vain. Not so, Duran. As a matter of fact, I'm expecting my secret weapon to be arriving very soon. As you say, my queen, but I still don't understand. We are receiving a transmission from an unidentified Protoss carrier. That's what I love about the Protoss. They're so punctual. Garrigan, this is Zeratul. I demand to know why you've taken our matriarch. Actually, Zeratul, she's not the one I'm truly interested in. I stole her to get to you. You see, I need you and your brethren to kill the Overmind for me. The only way I had of assuring your cooperation was to take away that which you value most. However, I give you my word that once you've killed the Overmind, I'll allow her to return to you. As if your word held any value. Zeritu, my faithful servant, you must aid Kerrigan in this endeavor. The Overmind is our common enemy. It must be destroyed to ensure that our people will survive. You ask me to aid this vile creature? I do not ask this for myself. Nor do I ask it on Kerrigan's behalf. I ask you to do this for our people, Zeratu. Obey me as you always have. Trust in my judgment. Very well, Matriarch. The Overmind will die this day. It is done, Carrion. The Overmind is dead, as you wished. Now, I demand that you release the Matriarch at once. Of course. Rashagal, do you wish to return to your tribe? No, my queen. I wish only to serve you and remain at your side. What treachery is this, Kerrigan? This pathetic creature cannot possibly be rush at all. <laughs> I promised that I'd allow her to return to you, Zeratul. But it looks to me like she doesn't want to go. You have corrupted her. Somehow you have poisoned her thoughts. Restore her to her rightful self, or you will pay dearly for this offense, Kerrigan. All right, Zeratul. You got me. I made your matriarch my slave long before I joined you on Shikoras. 
She made the mistake of underestimating my power, just like everyone else did. And now she's paying the price. With her as my puppet, I was able to eradicate the renegades on Shakuras and use you to kill the Overmind. And as you can see, your leader belongs to me now. Not bad, huh? We shall see, Carrion. We shall see. My queen, with the Overmind and its Cerebrates destroyed, all of the Zerg in this sector have reverted to your direct control. The remnants of the UED fleet have fled the planet, but I have no idea how many functional ships they still possess. We have finished relocating your primary hive clusters to this orbital platform. However, we do have a problem. Somehow, Zeratol and his brethren were able to bypass our defenses and steal their matriarch away from us. Damn Zeratol. He is a formidable adversary. Where have they run to, Duran? Our scouts report that they have regrouped with a number of protest survivors on the surface of Char. The Matriarch is being held within a stasis cell, leading me to suspect that the Protoss will attempt to take her home to Shakuras. <laughs> they still believe that she can be saved from my influence. Zeratul will be very disappointed to learn that Rashigal is beyond redemption. How much time before their fleet is ready to debark for Shakuras? They will be capable of dimensional recall within 30 minutes, my queen. That may be all the time we need. Cerebrit, mobilize all of my broods and send them to the surface of Char. I want you to bring both the Matriarch and Zeratul to me alive. Terminate the remaining Protoss with extreme prejudice. Damn you, Kerrigan, for what I must do. Thank you, Zeratul. You have freed me from her violent control to pass. You have only served me with honor. Thus, I must ask you to watch over my tribe. Into your hands I give the future. future. I can hardly believe this. You've killed your own matriarch. Better that I kill her, than let her live as your slave, Kerrigan. Well, I have misjudged you, Lori. You are worthy indeed. You are free to go. What? I said you are free to go. I've already taken your honor. I'll let you live, because I know that from now on, your every waking moment will be torture. You'll never be able to forgive yourself for what I've forced you to do. And that, Zeratul, is a better revenge than I could have ever dreamed of. You will regret this decision, Kerrigan. We shall meet again. Uncharacteristically true to her word, Kerrigan allowed Zeratul and a few of his brethren to leave the planet Char with their lives. These wary battle protoss set their course for the planet Shakuras, with the hopes of finding their comrade Artanis after any other survivors of the Kerrigan's wrath. Dark Origin My friends, we have suffered a great defeat. Our matriarch is dead. Our fleets have been scattered across the astral winds. And Kerrigan has gained complete control over the Zerg swarms. Yet, as always, we must struggle onward. Our immediate priority is to find Artanis and his warriors. Once we have made contact with him, we can return to Shakuras and plan our next moves. Prelate Zeratul. We are currently tracking Protoss power signatures emanating from an uncharted moon nearby. Our records do not indicate that there has ever been a Protoss settlement in this quadrant. Strange. It could be Artanis, or other survivors of our fleet down there. At any rate, it is our duty to investigate the source of the energy signatures. Set your course for the Dark Moon. 
If Artanis is there, we shall find him. Ooh, it looks like I get to play a Zeratul. Hell yeah. Zeratul, our sensors have detected a small Terran compound near the source of the energy signatures. Understood. I'll look into this matter myself. Be it. There is a Brutus in this cell. Danger. Test subject 23 is suffering from psychic feedback. Pylon crystals at critical stage. Cell meltdown imminent. Damn. The Terrans are having more trouble utilizing pylons than I thought. And I still have no clue as to why they had imprisoned that Protoss within the cell. What's this? There is a Zergling in this tank. What is going on here? Test subject 27 in cryohibernation. Neuroscan completed and archived. DNA code computed and archived. Gene splicing between test subjects 25 and 27 completed. Experiment 2273 progressing. By the gods, this can't be happening. I, I've never seen a creature like this before. Test subject 29 classified. Protoss Zerg hybrid in perfect cryohibernation. Psionic emanations minimal. No. Magnificent. Isn't it? What? Who are you? I've had many names throughout the millennia, young prodigal. You would know me best as Samir Gulan. Kerrigan's consort. Is this part of her twisted schemes? No. Young Kerrigan could not have engineered this grand experiment. Although her rebirth into this Zerg swarm has sped up my progress, I can assure you that this endeavor is quite beyond her narrow understanding. If you are not her pawn, then what are you? I am a servant of a far greater power. A power that has slept for countless ages and is reflected in the creature within that cell. Have you any conception of what you've created here? Do you have any idea what this... this hybrid is capable of? Of course I do. This creature is the completion of a cycle. Its role in the cosmic order was preordained when the stars were young. Behold the culmination of your history. All I behold is an abomination. Your violence, young prodigal, is typical, as is your inability to comprehend the greater scheme of things. You can destroy all of the specimens here, it will do you no good. For I have seen it the hybrid on many, many worlds. You will never find them all before they awaken, and when they do, your universe will be changed. Forever. Left with the unsettling knowledge of the hybrid, Zeratul returned to his ship and left the Dark Moon behind. Unable to explain his numbing discovery to his companions, he could only sit in fear for the future of the universe. Cerebrit, our scouts have just identified three separate fleets approaching this platform. With Duran having disappeared, and the bulk of my brood still on the surface of Char, you'll need to hold off the invaders by yourself. You sound worried, Kerrigan. Have I caught you at a bad time? Not at all, Arcturus. How'd you manage to scrape up your new fleet? Been raiding the salvage dumps again? I called in a few favors, made a few concessions. You'd be surprised to see how many special interest groups in this sector want to see you dead. I'm sorry to have to disappoint your new friends, Arcturus. But you really shouldn't have attempted this stunt. It'll take more than your three little fleets to bring me down. Three fleets? Don't play dumb, Mark Taurus. I've already spotted the other two fleets. Kerrigan, this is Artanis. My brethren and I have come to avenge the deaths of Phoenix, the Matriarch, and all of the other Protoss who fell before the Swarm. It is long past time you paid for your crimes against our people. When it rains, it pours. 
The Protoss too. Care to take a guess as to who the Third Fleet is? No need to guess. It's Dugal and the remainder of the UED fleet. That is correct, Carrigan. This is Admiral Dugal. I am giving you one last chance to surrender your forces and submit to the sovereign authority of the United Earth Directorate. Gee, that's a tough one, Admiral. You'll have to let me think for a minute. You know, Admiral, I think I'll just massacre your remaining troops now and watch you die in agony. How would that be? You vastly underestimate me, my dear. I don't think so, Admiral. You see, at this point, I'm pretty much the queen bitch of the universe. And not all of your little soldiers or spaceships will stand in my way again. So be it. Congratulations, Kerrigan. You've beaten me again. Just remember that I'll be out there, waiting for you to slip up. Because sooner or later, you'll make a mistake. And when you do... Savor this victory. Our forces are under attack. For the Protoss will never forget your treachery. We shall be watching you. Kerrigan? Yes. I am prepared to offer terms of surrender. It is my wish that you allow my men to live. You're not in a position to offer me anything, Admiral. And I don't take prisoners. I'll tell you what. Turn your remaining ships around and start heading back towards the Earth. I'll even let you have a head start before I send the swarms after you. It'll be interesting sport to see how far you get before you die. Once again, I stand atop the broken bodies of my enemies. Victorious, but not unscarred. The Earthborn Directorate has been destroyed, and the Overmind lies dead and trampled beneath the ashes of Char. As for my unlikely allies, I think that I shall allow them a reprieve. For in time, I will seek to test their resolve and their strengths. They will all be mine in the end. For I am the Queen of Blades. None shall ever dispute my rule again. Dearest Helena, by now the news of our defeat has reached the Earth. The creatures we were sent here to tame are untamable, and the colonies we were sent to reclaim have proven to be stronger than we anticipated. Whatever you may hear about what has happened out here, know this. Alexei did not die gloriously in battle. I killed him. My pride killed him, and now my pride has consumed me as well. You will never see me again, Helena. Tell our children that I love them, and that their father died in defense of their future. Over.